Good afternoon from Calgary, Alberta. I just had a little bit of spare time here in the city and I thought I would come and give us a beautiful view of the city from up on Scotsman's Hill here. So I'm just up above the Elbow River and of course Calgary was founded as a colonial entity at the confluence, which used to be called Fort Calgary, of the Elbow River and the Bow River. But there is the city centre with the famous Calgary Tower, which <laughs> yes, is laughed at around the world because it's a sightseeing tower that's no longer the tallest building. But that went up for Canada's centenary, 1967, originally the Husky Tower. And when Calgary hosted the Olympics in 1988, uh, the Olympic torch was modelled on the Calgary Tower. But in front of us here, is the original Olympic Saddle Dome. Once again, the Saddle Dome from the 1988 Winter Olympics. That is where the Calgary Flames play ice hockey. And yes, indeed, I am a Flames fan. Uh, it's a little bit like cheering for the Titanic, but you know, one day they'll come through. They did win once, but there's a ton of construction going on in the distance. And now that is because the Saddle Dome is the second oldest arena in the NHL after Madison Square Gardens, but it really does need replacing. So they're working away. It'll take a few years, but there'll be a fancy new stadium out there. Now, Calgary, though, you might see in the distance, there's a train coming through the middle, and right out in front of us is Studio Bell, the National Music Center, and then out, oh, the River Valley is just so beautiful this time of year. This is why I wanted to get in one little video of these fall colors. Of course, we don't have the maples, so we don't have the reds, but we have the aspens, the poplars, the silver birch, all those family of trees. But where else am I? Well, I'm looking west. If you have very good eyes or a big screen, you might see the Rocky Mountains out in the distance, about 80 kilometers away from us out there. But these are the stampede grounds right here. This is the site of the Calgary Stampede, Calgary Exhibition Stampede, which really dates back to the very beginning of the 1900s. So Calgary, as it is sort of known now, dates back to the 1870s, the train arrives 1883, but really the stampede is an act or a story of boosterism. Now what do we mean by boosterism? Well Western Canada has always been one of the most pro-immigration places in the world. When people moved here, you had all the makings of an economy, but what you didn't have was critical mass. You didn't actually have people to sell your products to agricultural, mining, eventually, of course, the oil industry. So they wanted to draw people here. And so the Stampede was a big event of offering what they called the greatest outdoor show on earth. It is a rodeo, of course, largest rodeo in the world by some measures. Uh, they have big events in the evenings. Of course, it would have drawn people from all over the region. And now about a million people come through the gates every year and the city goes wild. The city parties for 10 days in July. And that's kind of their big event. And it was successful. You know, Greater Calgary is about 1.6 million people now. 23% roughly were not born in Canada. So it's always been a place, a business-oriented community, but also a real beacon for people to come and settle and make a life. So it's got some of the challenges that big cities, of course, regularly do in this day and age. But it is considered somewhere around the fifth best city in the world to live in according to the Human Development Index. So really kind of interesting. If you have very good eyes just out in the distance here, uh, there is the form of a teepee. And during Stampede, the First Nations, the Indigenous people, and this is Treaty 7 territory, they will come and actually host a powwow. And gradually, painfully, this country is coming to terms with a long history of just atrocious, well, I will call it cultural genocide, towards Indigenous peoples, and so it's a long process of truth and reconciliation. So lots of stories going on. This is an isolated city. If I look straight south, it is about a three hour drive down to the border of Montana in the United States. And if I go the other way north, it's three hours up to Edmonton, which is the most northerly big city in North America. And then another five and a half hours from there, you get up to the oil fields up around Fort McMurray. But of course, it's an hour to the west, even a little less, into the Rocky Mountains, and an hour and a half, almost exactly, into the town of Banff and Banff National Park, Canada's very first national park, and of course, the site of the establishment of the oldest national park service in the world. So there's just a little hello from beautiful Calgary. I will be putting up some more virtual tours soon, so do subscribe and watch for live tours around the world. Thank you.